freaking orbit. Bunkered down amidst the flash and bluster of the other big name launch games in the Xbox One catalog is Power Star Golf, an arcade style golf game that could easily pass as an Xbox 360 game. Because, well, that's exactly what it was originally supposed to be. It's by no means a game to get if you want to show off your new hardware, but despite its last gen looks, Power Star Golf's RPG like progression system and asynchronous multiplayer present an addictive and mostly fun way to spoil a good virtual walk. Welcome to Power Star Golf. While its swing timer based gameplay has clearly been borrowed from the Everybody's Golf series, Power Star Golf foregoes the super deformed anime art style of Sony's series in favour of a more Pixar like aesthetic. Ex astronaut Frank even resembles a reskinned Mr. Incredible, which is fitting because all of the characters possess their own unique superpower. These powers range from temporary boosts to your shot distance to more creative perks such as Henry the Illusionist's magic ball that splits into five balls after you've hit it. Voila. Unfortunately, the course design doesn't really match the over-the-top nature of Power Star's player roster. While each of the four courses are aesthetically pleasing enough, the actual holes themselves are fairly standard. They still present plenty of challenge with varying topography and typical traps like water hazards and bunkers, but perhaps introducing some more fantastical elements in the vein of Nintendo's Mario Golf series would have made each course a bit more memorable. <laughs> what really prevents Power Star Golf from being a fun but forgettable golf experience is the smartly implemented experience and upgrade system that hooked me like a crooked three iron. XP is earned from almost every action you perform on the course and you're constantly bombarded with on-the-spot challenges to unlock chunky XP bonuses. As you level up and earn more prize money, you can buy booster perks for you and your caddy, with each of them applying modifiers such as hook and slice reduction or the ability to skim a ball across a surface of water. You can also buy gear packs in order to gain new clubs, clothes and balls, although it's a little strange that the content of each gear pack is randomised, so you don't really know what you're going to get until after you've already paid for it. Every stroke you play on each hole is measured against record holders from around the world. And in a nice touch, the Xbox One will automatically record video of your shot should you happen to set a new record yourself. New world record. The world is yours. Yep, I must have watched that one about six or seven times already. But where the Xbox Live user data really comes into play is via the Rivals mode, an asynchronous multiplayer mode that lets you play rounds of golf against the recordings of other players' best outings. It's kind of like a substantially less dynamic version of Forza 5's Drivatar tech, but nonetheless presents what will potentially be a much stiffer challenge as real world players keep leveling up and learning each hole, particularly since the AI opponents are prone to dubious shot selection at times. Power Star Golf manages to successfully marry an old school arcade golf experience with some decidedly new school ideas. The lack of proper online multiplayer is a bit of a blow, but the Rivals mode has the potential to provide an ongoing challenge after you've scooped up all of the career medals. It's not quite a hole in Xbox One for golf fans, but it's a good deal of fun if you desperately want to hit the links on your new machine. For more Power Star Golf, keep it glued to IGN.com, and for more of my world record setting putt, well, you can just watch it again. It's in the hole!